guys, it's Sarah here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the difference between MD, NP, and PA. I'm just going to tell you what those mean in case you don't know them. Um, MD is a medical doctor, NP is a nurse practitioner, and PA is a physician assistant. A lot of people, um, they want to be a provider because all those three are providers and they don't know which one to go for. So here's just a video to help you decide what you should go for. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna go over the difference between the schooling, because that's like one of the major factors in this whole thing. The NP schooling and PA schooling is around six years, while the MD schooling is around 11 to 17 years. And let me break that down for you. MD goes in for four-year undergrad, four-year medical school, um, residency, which really depends, and even a fellowship, but it really depends on what specialty they're going for. So residency could be three years, it could be seven years. Like if you go in for neurosurgery, it's more to the top. If you go in for emergency medicine or pediatrician, you're more towards the three years. Um, and pretty much that give or take to 11 to 17 years that you're in school for. The PA, like I said, it's six years. So how that works is that you come in with a degree. It doesn't have to be a medical degree. You come in with a degree, a four-year undergrad degree, and you go for two years in PA school, and then you get your master's as a physician assistant. The nurse is a little bit the same, but a little bit different. You do your four-year undergrad, but you become a nurse, and then you do your two years, a master's or three years, and then you become a nurse practitioner. So while if someone's coming in with a degree, let's say you have a degree in arts and now you want to go into the medical field, for you to go for an NP, you're going to have to still become a nurse, even if you already have a degree and then become an NP. So your track you might want to take might want to be maybe PA because PA, you could just do your two years and then be done because you already have a degree. Um, and also along the track, just a little difference is that the PA has a lot more clinical hours in school. So usually they need around um, 1,000 hours to even start school, to even get into PA school of shadowing. And then once they're in school, they have like a whole year of just shadowing and hours. And it's just a lot of hours that they have of clinical experience. NP schools are not like that. They don't have that many um, hours, which is a debatable topic on its own but they do come in with an RN experience. So some of them could be ICU nurses for 30 years and now they're becoming a nurse practitioner. Some of them could be nurses for two years. It really depends on who's, which person went in for the program. But pretty much um, the nurse practitioner is coming in with a nursing experience and it's a six year from start to finish. And the PA is six years also from start to finish, but you don't need any prior medical experience. And the MD is pretty much 11 to 17 years. So in that, in that um, thing of the schooling also becomes the price. So just think about it. Even if it was the same price for everything, what you're gonna pay for six years of schooling and what you're gonna pay for 17 years of schooling is gonna be 10 times more. But at the same token, you're also getting paid 10 times more. So the MD is gonna be making much more than your PA and the NP. The PA and the NP are pretty much both advanced level providers and they pretty much get the same. In every state it could vary and you could also always have a NP who makes more than a doctor or a PA who makes more than a doctor. You could even have a nurse who makes more than um, NP working more hours or whatever. But for the most part, PAs and nurse practitioners get paid the same. I would say it around the range, I don't know where everyone lives, but around the range of 120,000, give or take. And the MD is really a lot more and arranges a ton because if you're going for cardiology you can make in 500,000 or more starting and while your emergency medicine could start at 300 or less or more so it's really like a huge range depending on what you go for but it's it could be more than triple of the MD and the, of the NP and the PA so so pretty much what we said so far is that N MD schooling is much longer NP schooling and and PA schooling are six years for now, because they do want to make it a doctorate, but for now they're six years each. Um, NP, you need a nursing degree. PA, you don't need a nursing degree. PA, more clinical experience than NP, but NP has an RN license. So that's pretty much what I said so far. And I said that um, doctors make much more than NPs and PAs, and NPs and PAs pretty much, give or take, make the same thing. So, now, um, another thing to compare and contrast is respect and knowledge. 
So obviously um, everyone respects doctors more than NPs and PAs, that's pretty much standard. And also they're much more knowledgeable, MDs. Because just think about it, they're 17 years of schooling or even they're 15 years of schooling. You can't even compare between your six years or two years just in medical school as a PA and your um, six years as an NP. You can't even like start to compare how much, even if two years went in and out of their brain, they still have 15 years left of schooling that they understand and um, clinical experiences and stuff like that. So it's not really even debatable um, who has more knowledge. Um, then another big category is floating and specialty. So as a MD, you go into your program. And once you're in a residency, you're already in a track. So undergrad, you don't have really have to know where you're going, but towards the end, you pretty much have to know where you're going. So say, for example, you wanna become an emergency medicine doctor. So you go in for your 11 years of schooling, and then you decide you don't like it, you wanna become a cardiologist. You can't just add on two more years, you gotta go back to schooling. So that is something big to take into um, to consideration, especially if, you, if you're like set on what you want, then go ahead. But if you're not, you don't wanna get into a field that you just spend 17 years doing and then not like it. So that's one big negative about being a doctor. Another thing, um, and then for PAs, PAs have the advantage that they could jump around. They could be a PA, you could be a dermatology, you could be OR, they could just keep jumping around um, fields and they could have worked in a field for seven years and decide they don't like it and go somewhere else. A nurse practitioner, they also have to specialize like a doctor, but not as specialized. So you could be a family nurse practitioner and treat um, old, young, et cetera. Um, you could be pediatric and treat anything with pediatric, but you're still specializing. So if you're a geriatric nurse practitioner, you can't just go and treat an 18 year old kid. So it's pretty much specialized, but the difference is that if you do want to go back, you could just do another two years of master's and also add in pediatric nurse practitioner and get that. As opposed to MD, you got to do much more years and two years to become a different, um, you have to basically go back and then become a different specialty. So that's the advantage of a PA and NP, you could just go back for two years and MD, you're kind of stuck in your track, pretty much. Um, Another thing is how old you are. If you're going to become, if you're 40 years old, not to say 40 years old, but let's just say you're 40 years old and you're going to go for your MD. By the time you get out of MD, you're going to be around 60, give or take. Um, if you start from the bottom and work your way up, you're going to be around 60 years old. Um, first of all, it's going to be really hard because let's say most new everybody does night shift. So that'll be like hard for you to start doing night shift at 60 years old. Plus you usually have a family and et cetera. Um, not to say it isn't doable and if you do do it, good for you. But um, age is a really big factor because if you're starting at 18 versus you're starting at 38, picking um, um, your specialty, I would say more like go for a PA if you're a little bit on the older side and if you're a little bit younger, then you could pick your field. But then again, anyone could go for anything they want. That's the truth. Um, another thing to take into consideration is family. So this is pretty much why I didn't become an NP because I have kids and um, I don't want to, um, you know, if I leave my kids for 17 years to become, not leave, but like pretty much you're not present for 17 years to become a doctor, they'll be like 20 years old by the time I am done and want to even get to know them. So um, that was something like a big thing for me that I didn't want to do because I wanted to like grow up with my family, be with my kids, um, spend time with my kids. And as a doctor, you're usually on call. They have on call hours, they put in a lot of hours. And even when you graduate, you still don't have that much time, um, like with family and friends and stuff like that. So I wanted to be done with my schooling and just make less money, but enjoy life. So for a PA, they are not on call. That's the good part. Um, and it's a quick route. So you could also be with your family. Um, and the same thing as NP. But the one difference is between PA and NP is that PA is full-time. So it's a two-year full-time college. NP, you could be doing a part-time and working as an RN or even home with your kids while you're doing it. And it's usually, and you could find a lot of stuff that are online. PA, you can't really find online. NP, you could. Um, so I guess if you already have kids, it would be probably more easier for you to go for NP if you're an RN and then an um, PA. 
So all in all, um, pretty much, if I had to like divide that and make that simplified for you, I would say MD, 11 to 18 years, you have to pick a specialty, but you do make much more money. You have much more debt, but you make much more money and it's a respectable, um, you're going to be really knowledgeable in your field and you have autonomy. So you could boss around everybody and do whatever you want pretty much because you're the one in charge. PA, if you don't have a nursing degree you could go, and you have an undergraduate degree, you could go straight in, two years, you're done. You work alongside a physician. Um, for the most, a lot of times they don't even do that. Um, usually if they trust, if the doctor trusts the PA, they kind of leave them on their own. So they do have a lot of autonomy, um, but it's full-time school. It's just a master program. It might be a, a doctor at one of these days. And you could do, and you get pretty much paid the same thing as an NP, like 120 range around. Um, NP, you have to be, become a nurse. So you're going through the nursing track. So you have to become a nurse first, and then you have to go to NP school. You could do a part-time, so that's the good part. You could go to school part-time. Um, you're making around, like I just said, like a PA, 120000 And if you're already a nurse, this is probably the better track for you, like as a family um, person. And the only difference is that you can't float as easier as a PA. You can't just decide you want to be dermatology and then cardiology and then emergency medicine. You can't do that. You got to pick your thing and stick with that. So that's pretty much um, the, the difference is. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any other questions, shoot me a question down there. Please like, subscribe to this video. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.